Hey everyone, it's Brooke from the Sensory Emporium. Uh, I get about one or two new subscribers on YouTube every single day. And that really amazes me because I haven't made a video in a really long time. However, I'd really like to get back to making them. So today we're starting. My computer's running really slow and I have a really bad cold, so it's probably the wrong day to make a video. But um, we're going to do it anyway. So today, I'm going to show you how to make one of the oversized chalkboard prints, where I print it, how I print it, and how I get it done. So here, let's get started. When you open up stu uh, Silhouette Studio, this is the screen you're going to see, your 12 by 12 mat and your 12 by 12 piece of paper. We're going to change all of that. So you're going to go into page settings and go to 12 by 18 and make your paper 12 by 18. Then I like to remove the mat and also the cut border. Um, you can do print border if you want to, but it's probably not going to matter. Then I draw a square the size of my paper, so 12 by 18. If you want to get really perfect with it, you can go into the scale and change the settings here. But we're just doing this really quick. Now I'm going to fill it with this dark gray color. There are vectors out there that are the chalkboard with the chalk smear in the back or sometimes they have little designs in the corner. You can use those too. Just make sure you get a high quality one that's good for printing out a large size. So today I am making a gender reveal chalkboard for my best friend's gender reveal party and I already have it done. So I'm going to assume that you already know what you want on your chalkboard but this is mine. So it's gonna make a cute guest book. People are gonna sign under the team pink or team blue. That doesn't matter for this tutorial, but I thought I'd tell you because I thought it was a cute idea. So now I'm gonna tell you how I print it. Now my computer slows down quite a bit when I do the PDF creator. And uh, so I have the steps broken down kinda. I can't show you exactly how it goes, but you'll get the idea, I think. So you're gonna go to file, print, and click on PDF Creator. Then go to your Preferences, Advanced, and you'll click on this down arrow, Post Script Custom Page Size. And you'll also edit your custom page size to 12 by 18 or whatever size chalkboard you are doing. Hit OK on all of those. And here's where you'll hit Print. Now I'm not going to hit Print, but I'm going to show you what happens next. A box will come up here and it'll be printing your document, but it won't really be printing. So you hit print, I'm hitting cancel. This is the next box that will show up. Uh, you'll click options. And this takes my computer a minute too. My computer is really slow. And then I'm doing mine as a JPEG. I mean, I changed mine to 300 dots per inch. I don't know about these other ones. I don't mess with them. Mine always prints okay. I just know that the 300 DPI is good. So you save that. Then that's my default. That's what it's always going to print as for me. You can change this here to PDF, PNG, all these different styles. Also do your document title. Not going to do that. You'll hit save. I'm hitting cancel. A box will come up so you can pick where you save it to, etc. So cancel that. So that's what will happen when you print to PDF. I'm going to show you where I get mine towards the end of the video. So let's go to staples.com because this is what I got asked about a lot when I posted mine the other day. I go to staples.com, the copy and print area, and oversized color prints. Now let's pretend like I just clicked on this. We'll go over here. This will say add file. You find your chalkboard and upload it to staples and it'll upload like this. So next I always make sure that I use the standard paper because the photo paper will be glossy and I want it to be matte like a chalkboard. Um, and then you could just leave it just the paper and it's $9.99. I already have the other thing clicked. So it's $9.99 at my staples. I'm assuming yours too. And then, um, but I like to have my mounted. So do the size of your poster in mounting. It makes it thicker. It's like a foam board that they mount it to, and it looks really nice. Um, for this, I definitely needed it so people can sign, which whether they're team pink or team blue. And that's about fifteen dollars. 
it's not too bad. So that's how you get it printed at Staples. It's really easy. The um, You can also get it done at Walmart. I just went to the photo center and clicked on poster in the 12 by 18 and uploaded that. But for my PDF creator, I go to pdfforge.org. And this is what I use for my PDF creator. It's really easy to use. You just download it. And uh, I have PDF Creator and PDF Architect mm -hmm. on my computer, but I'm not sure what PDF Architect does. Not technical like that. So, but anyway, I hope that this tutorial helped you to be able to make a um, chalkboard print for you or for your kiddos or for a party. Um, if you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments and I'll try to get back to them. Also, if you have any ideas for a video, let me know. I would love to be able to um, answer your questions or do tutorials for you. So thanks everyone and have a great day.